Welcome to the Simply Smart Business Show with me, Gemma Went. Welcome to this episode where I am talking about the ups and downs of being an entrepreneur. Now, the path of an entrepreneur is never a straight one, sadly. What we do tend to envisage when we set up our businesses and we and we start on this path is that we've got a lovely steady climb that kind of just moves up and up and up and up and as we grow as people and as we grow our businesses. But unfortunately, that is rarely the case. And the truth is, it's actually a little bit up and down. Actually, it's quite a lot up and down, (laughs) where one week we're on top of the world and we're absolutely nailing it, and then the next week we feel like an absolute helpless failure. One day we're punching the air like Usain Bolt at the end of a race, (laughs) and the other day it feels like the hardest thing in the world. Um, And you know what? That is completely natural. We all feel that way at some point. And it really is the same for most people. I've I've met a lot of small business owners and entrepreneurs over the years from startups with teeny 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 tiny tiny budgets to the guys that are making the big bucks, you know, the the millionaires and the billionaires. And even those guys earning the big bucks suffer this. And here's the thing, right? I have this theory that actually this these feelings and these kind of these ups and downs have nothing to do with income or income levels. What it actually comes down to is self-belief and confidence and mindset. You know, sometimes it can be other things that cause, you know, it can come down to hormones and planets and moons and Mercury retrograde, anyone. (laughs) So it can be so many things that kind of cause this stuff to happen. And we all go through it. But here's the thing, people just starting out on this path, people that are just starting their business actually have no point of reference. So what I'm finding with the newer business owners is that they kind of think it's because they're starting out and they start to assume it's because they're getting something wrong so it it, you know they might assume that oh I'm actually really not cut out for this I'm not very good at this or oh god I'm just starting out I don't know what I'm doing I'm getting it all wrong Um, and they can start making up stories about this stuff without actually realizing that this is completely normal and most of us go through it so I really wanted to get that message across in this um in this episode because it's really important for people starting out to understand that and understand that the path goes up and down and round and round and it's never a kind of a steady, steady growing path um, because it just isn't. There are too many things, too many factors at work that can make that path move around in lots of different ways and go in lots of different directions and there's too many things that can affect how we're feeling or what we're doing on a on a certain day and that can really affect how um how this all plays out for us um the thing is i've been in this game a while right i had uh, my first business was over a decade ago and the second business i've had now for what four years um so i really understand how to recognize when i'm getting in a slump because i'm i'm exactly the same I get this as well, right? Um, and I've uh, I recognise when I'm getting into these slumps, as I call them, and I have a little bit of a a, a slump toolkit, if you will, to help bring me out of it, uh, to help tackle what's going on. Um, and what I wanted to do was just run through um, some of those things and a few other ideas for you to create your own slump toolkit because they are absolutely invaluable. And I think once you can grasp the fact that it's normal and we all go through this and it's not just because you're starting out and it's not just because you don't have experience and it's not just because you don't feel good enough, it's none of those things. It's something that we all go through and we can help ourselves to come out of it. And that's where we do have the control because we can rarely control whether we fall into these slumps or not. 
but we can control how we react to them. And that's what I'm trying to do with these slump toolkits is, is create a toolkit that's going to really help you to come out of that and have some control over what's happening with you. Uh, and, you know, so when you're really heading for a slump, if you can recognize it and then take action, it makes all the difference. And if you can recognize it and take action and deal with it, that's really what sets winners apart in this game. Um, rather than dwelling in it and staying in it and staying put in that slump, actually bringing yourself out is going to help you, hands down. And it's going to bring you out and, and create positive action for your business. So I'm going to run through a few ideas um, for these. So mine, and these are a lot of things that work for me. So you really need to work out stuff that, that's going to work for you. So my um, big thing is I am blessed that I have an amazing office in my home. Um, but, you know, if you're working there every day and if you're at home every day, it can get a little bit stagnant and you need to just take a step out. So when I'm heading for one of those slums where I'm in it, um, I will take myself away from my workplace. Now, for me, that can be taking the dogs for a walk, um, going to work somewhere else. I am a member of an amazing uh, gym and uh, which has a big sort of spa in it, which has amazing Wi-Fi. I can go and work from there and have a swim if I want to while I'm there, which is great for me. It gives me some exercise. More on that in a minute. But just taking yourself out um, so that you can have a different perspective and you think differently can really help. As just going for a walk, I mean, I have dogs, but even if you don't have dogs, just going for a walk, taking some exercise, walking uh, in the fresh air, or just walking anywhere, walking through a park if you're in a city, um, to really kind of get yourself moving and just take yourself away. If you're really busy, and let's face it, most of us are, looking at your task list and looking at some quick tasks, maybe things that that take only 15 minutes, 10 minute, 15 minute tasks that you've just put off, right? Just kind of commit to yourself that you'll do as many of those tasks as you can in an hour and just get going and take action because taking action is an amazing motivator. So the more you can take action, the more motivated you'll feel and you might bring yourself out. And it's very easy when you're in these slumps just to not bother taking action. And that's only going to make it work. So just taking any action, no matter how unimportant that task is, just taking action will help to motivate you. Um, and also going through that task list and just getting rid of stuff. You know, if you're overwhelmed by that, either getting rid of stuff that actually you don't need to do it, delete it, or delegating it to somebody else, or push it forward in your calendar. If it doesn't need to be done now, then why not put it forward for a month? You might be feeling better. You might be more able to do it by then. Up your healthy eating. Uh, this is really important. So what we put in our in our bodies is the fuel for our business, right? Because we are the ones running our business. So what we put in is really, really important. And we're taking a lot of stuff out. So eating some really fresh fruit, eating vegetables, eating lots of protein, eating really healthily and drinking loads of water can really help you when you are in a slump. As is um, looking at the amount of vitamins and minerals that you're getting. So if you're not getting enough of those, supplementing those. You know, one of the, the biggest um, deficiencies people have is magnesium. Now, magnesium has an amazing effect on lots of areas of the body, but, but particularly um, for me and interesting for me is it really affects brain and how sharp you are. Um, so, you know, you could be deficient in that. So adding in a few supplements and vitamins and minerals to really help you perform better can really help. Um, recognizing your triggers. Now, when you're in a slump, I mean, we get triggered all the time, right? All the time. But when you're in a slump, you tend to get triggered more. And I try to pay attention to those triggers. So rather than run away from them, I try to welcome them in a little bit and really understand what's going on. Because actually, that could highlight what is the cause of the slump. It could be something that's really going on with me and I'm at odds with myself and something's just out of balance and I'm not feeling right about something. So I need to really understand what that is and deal with that thing. Well, recognizing triggers can really help you with that. And one of the 
easiest ways of doing that is going to the Facebook news feed because that triggers the hell out of a lot of us, right? So just spend some time on the news feed and see if anything triggers you and then dive into those things. Really think about why that thing's triggering you because triggers are basically just mirrors for how we are feeling about something or how we're feeling about ourselves. So actually using that as a a way of delving into what's going on with you is an amazing opportunity. So don't run from those triggers, like really look at them and delve into it and think about, okay, why am I feeling that way? And there's so many ways you could be feeling. You could be triggered by someone because you might be jealous or envious of them. They might anger you for something that they're doing. Um, It might make you feel really sad about something they're doing. And then really digging into those feelings and and, and covering what's behind them might really help you to deal with that. And once you've uncovered what they are, do some work on on, um, getting rid of that. You know, I've spoken before about doing some forgiveness work around it, doing some gratitude work around it, um, doing some journaling or meditating around it, doing some EFT tapping um, around it uh, to try and kind of clear those blocks um, for you. I mean, at the end, I'm not saying that every trigger is going to be those things. You might just be seeing someone on the Facebook news feed that you don't like very much. And you're like, oh, God, they drive me mad. And that might just be all it is. But a lot of the time, it's a trigger um, that's going to be showing you something that's going on with you. So it's a great way to kind of plug into that and understand what's going on. Uh, I spoke a little bit about exercise, but taking exercise daily is so, 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 so important. It increases your serotonin, which can then increase your mood. So when you're in a slump, it's the perfect thing to do. So even if it's a 30 minute walk, get out, go and do some exercises um, and and just get that serotonin brought up because that can really, really help you. Also up your mindfulness practice. So whatever you do to, to kind of really center yourself and be more mindful can really help with this. So as I've spoken before, my ritual is in the morning, I like to write in my journal and I write um, a whole list of um, things I'm grateful for. I write a list of forgiveness, which is normally about me. So I forgive myself for messing up or whatever. Um, I then write some emotional freedom technique, EFT tapping scripts, normally based on the forgiveness. And I will do a run of those. I might go and watch Brad Yates and do some, some, um, lead EFT tapping with him as well. Um, and then I do some free journaling, which I always find really, really motivational. That helps me. That kind of takes me out of my, my fear, my worry, my, got to get stuff done, business head, and just into me. And it makes me a bit more mindful. Um, And it's a great way of just kind of recentering yourself. Look at your sleep patterns. um, Because if you're not sleeping well during this time, then again, you're going to be out of kilter. So really looking at that and thinking, right, I'm going to have a couple of really early nights and just catch up, get my, let my body get the sleep that it needs, let myself recharge and really catch up on that. And if it also means having some naps in the daytime, do that, you know, that's the beauty of us as business owners, we are able to just go to sleep whenever we like, so actually making the most of that, because sleep is so, so, so important, so can you see there, and those are just a few things, there's a whole bunch of other things you could do that would be right for you, meditation, for example, but can you see there, if you've got, if you find your toolkit of things like that, that really help you, you can bring yourself out of that slump so much quicker, um, And you'll be far more effective uh, and you'll push through and start getting the results of your business far faster if you are able to recognize those things. Because they come up a lot, you know, it it might be daily, it might be weekly, it might be monthly, but they come up for all of us. So just being able to recognize what those are and deal with them um, immediately before they get too bad um, can really, really help you. So create a slump toolkit for yourself. Um, even if that's not where you are right now, just think about it. Think what could really help you so that when you do get to that position, you are able to bring out your toolkit and you know what to do. But I think the the biggest message for me um, for this episode is that it's normal. It's normal to have these ups and downs and it's normal to have these slaps because we all feel it. We just need to work out our own way through it to bring us back up to the ups. Thank you for listening. 